Here we go, game number six, I think. All right, NBN, I got my Kate. All right, so he's playing NBN making news with... Uh, yeah, sorry, the recurring credits that I'm trying to... Uh, I'm gonna keep this. Uh, mostly because I've got prepaid, I've got Sure Gamble, I've got self-mod, I've got card draws, so this is maybe the best thing I can hope for. The one thing I'm missing and the one thing I would usually mulligan for is an indexing or a maker's eye against NBN, just so that if they try to come out of the gate really fast, I can come out just as fast. Uh, really good in this matchup actually is the SMC. Okay, so I'm pretty much set for money for the next hour. Alright, celebrity gift time. What you got there? You got a Beal. Closed accounts. Okay, so this basically looks like my deck. So this is very similar to what I play, and uh, what's really important, I mean from what I've seen, uh, it's really important to just stay ahead in terms of money, which is going to be pretty easy to do, or not easy, but it's going to be very doable, uh, only because of my hand. So he has a Beal in hand, what was it, Beal, Close Accounts, Hedge Fund, Jackson Howard, Cypher Practice. So he's not threatening, ooh, not threatening anything yet. So I can take this So there's the indexing, excellent. So I'm gonna drop that, hit him with that. Hmm. Nice. I guess I'm just gonna keep drawing because I keep getting lucky. So since he went celebrity, he's probably not going some kind of weird uh, biotic build, so he can't score anything on hand. But I have to run everything he plays. He plays that. Clip one, let's run it. What you got there? Bastion. Okay, let's go get Croder. That's good. Gonna shuffle that for me. So now I think I'm gonna. I'm going to. So we've got Hedge Fund, Celebrity Gift, and one Hidden Card. Okay. Um, so I want to play this economy to get to use those cards. Uh, so I'm going to draw. Uh, play. Four. Did do the minus one. Quality time. All right, there's our Kirk's eye. Uh, let's bring it with one, two, three. He's drawing all his econ. He's, uh, he's a lucky guy. Well, I guess I'm drawing mine too, so it's not. Uh, I can't complain too much. So 
I'm gonna go with draw draw. I'm not kind. Or ideally draw a play. Alright, so efficiency-wise, I can same old thing, lucky find, for 9 credits. Or I can same old thing, sure gamble, for... where does that work out to? Sorry, I have to do the math in my head and I'm bad at it. Um, it's usually plus 4, it'd be plus 7, so it'd be 7 over 2. more than three per click, but in this point I think it's really important that I just that I just make money. Alright, so click one, let's run, let's see what you got. Okay. Thinking, um, do I go get my Gordon Blade? Sure, we'll get my Gordon Blade. Gordon Blade and it'll cost me. Ah, uh, no, I just run it. So I'll pay two credits to keep my click. Because my clicks are worth three credits or more. If that makes sense. So my credits are worth three or more. Or sorry, my clicks are worth three or more, so sure I'll do it. So that cost me six to get it through, whereas, yeah, well, I'm gonna play my admin at four apparently against the NBN, so. Let's use it, that's great. So, H1 Swoop Sweep and a hidden guard? Alright. I'm gonna go with uh, Lucky Find gets me nine. Sure gamble. I'm gonna go with sure. I don't know. I'm sure gamble and then draw a card. So if he could not play a card one turn, that'd be great, because then I could <laughs> play my play index. So if he doesn't play a card, my move is going to be that a sucker indexing. Ah. Please don't play a card in your remote. What are the odds that it's the third Jackson? Like. Is he thinking? I'm just gonna check my internet real fast. I can get to Google, so it's waiting on him. Hmm, okay. So an admin at four costs me seven. Then I'm gonna break everything here for three. Um, seven, three, so I'll be at. Yeah, look, okay, let's do it. Now, do I go for seven credits? Uh, yeah, that'll stop his. Alright, 
So now he can mid-season me for like a ton of tags. I would assume he's drawn it by now. Check his discard. Oh shit, <laughs> he keeps recycling them, I forgot. So now he played the Beal. What does that imply? Because he knows I can get in. It means he's either got midseason in his hand, or he's flooded, I guess. That would be my idea. But there's no way he's flooded because he's already been through two Jacksons, unless he's being really flooded. What does it mean? I think he's holding on. If he's holding on to two economy cards and a mid seasons, I basically lose the game. But the odds of that are pretty low considering he's. Well, he's played all of them, but they're always faced him. Or sorry, they're, they're always recycled with Jackson. Um, I haven't been counting, but yeah, he's, he's played so many. Then again, so have I. I've gotten really lucky. In fact, yeah, I've played about a million economy cards already. But I'd say I'm in a better board position than he is. Ah, I don't know, he's got a ton of money. He's an intent band, that's all you need. So in mid-seasons, he can hit me for... There it is. So I'm gonna match it no matter. No matter what it is. So yeah, I think it was, it was either that, it was either like play uh, like SOT for credits so he can't mid-season me as hard, or I can run his hand hoping to get a um, uh, by 24, okay. So the total is 24. Okay, I'm just gonna spend all the money. Dota 2. I will play later, Rob. Interesting, okay. So now he has two credits. He's got two credits, so he could credit Psycho the Astro and Vance the Astro and score it that way. So I'm just gonna run this thing. One credit because I didn't break the, the lose a click because well I have no clicks. Sec. Okay. Um, 
So ideally now I need to draw to a economy card, play it, and then remove two tags. So it's kind of interesting because I always played them in, in the sense that uh, you don't need a remote. Or at least that's how I felt. But now that I'm playing the other side a lot more, like I stopped playing in VN, they still need a remote. Um, usually it's a sand sand in it, but the sand sand still needs to live for one turn. And I think Imp is like really MVP against that because it just denies that. So hopefully my turn is draw, top deck like Lucky find, I guess. Okay, three credits. Alright, so now I have to do some math. So with three credits, he could install Psycho Abeel. Install Psycho Abeel. Okay. If I run HQ, the worst that's going to happen is I hit a pop up window. HQ, let's see what he's got. Let's bring it a pop up window. Draco, interesting. Um, yes, that's fair. Okay. There, basically, I denied him the ability to. Oh, did I? I don't think I actually did. If he plays it, oh, then I was going to cycle it for three. Ah, mistakes. Mistakes were made. We lost, boys. All right, race is on. Let's go. But so I did. I did. It's kind of funny because I did call the uh, Astro in hand. Um. Okay. So what do we have? Uh, let's go with. Cards. You grab round, that's good. Any PD, this is what I need to trash at no cost. Um, okay, any PD on the second slot. Cancel over gifts. So now, do I take a credit? He just drew. I've already forgotten what he's drawn. Uh, I think it was wrap around. Okay, this is acceptable. Does he have scorch? Uh, fuck it. He doesn't have scorch. I'm calling it. No scorch. Draco again. Hawkward. All get rejected. Oh boy. It's not going good. <laughs> Alright, any PD in hand. So I'm going to draw for... If I draw for 
Parasite or money? Like, what is it? What is important to draw for? Uh, I can get to Parasite, and it will just cost me an arm and a leg. Uh oh. Okay. I don't really want to trash my... Uh, well, he only has a wraparound, so I can actually trash my data sucker. So I'm gonna go... Alright, here we go. Click one. Can we find enough to win the game? Alright, what do we got? We got a oh, good game. Close. I should get the other train off. All right, so that's a two. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll switch sides. All right. We're gonna end this video and see you guys on the other side. Where is my stream? There it is.